Now, live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at Noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Crumble. Efforts to reform sexual abuse statute of limitations are still underway years after a failed constitutional amendment. This time, a popular documentary team is joining Representative Mark Rossi on the Capitol steps to get the legislation moving. Dennis Owens joins us live at the state Capitol with more on all of this. Good afternoon, Dennis. Good afternoon to you, James, and it almost uh, it's very odd on a sun splashed and absolutely beautiful day here on the steps of the Capitol behind me and now hour long rally on a pretty dark topic and that is childhood sex abuse. The documentary film you referenced, Sins of the Amish, the makers of that movie are here talking, uh, just basically saying that there are terrific instances of abuse happening in the Amish community and it's an eye opener for a lot of folks who thought that the whole child sex abuse thing was mostly a Catholic Church thing, pretty clear it all goes well beyond the Catholic Church. So on the steps behind me, Amish, Mennonite, plain community survivors telling their stories, horrific stories of abuse, which were bad, but even worse, perhaps the inability for them to tell anyone and the teaching that it is their fault if they are the victim and they should just forgive their abusers. Heartbreaking stories, as I said, several stories, including Lancaster's John Zook. Sadly, my earliest memories are of sexual abuse, and despite my best efforts to keep them safe, three out of our four children are now survivors of child-on-child -child sexual abuse due to a failing undereducated under cultural system. So the Amish are the latest to add their voices to the need for a constitutional amendment or a law, a bill that would allow them to sue their abusers beyond the statute of limitations. But James, they are certainly not the first. We've been talking about this story for years. Where are we? Well, the House has passed bills that would become regular laws to allow a two year window for abusers where the statute of limitations has ended to bring their cases forward. There's also a constitutional amendment the House passed, which would do the same thing. The Senate passed a constitutional Amendment that, would do, amendment that would do that, but it added other amendments to it, including one for voter ID. Those two versions have to be identical or we are stuck here in loggerheads, and that's where we are. Nothing is moving forward. Meanwhile, other states who got into this topic well after us have already passed their laws, and there's already been lawsuits that have been filed and lawsuits that have been adjudicated. Uh, so a lot of frustration on the steps behind me that we're still talking about this. And again, this rally, James, now going on uh, more than an hour after it began. That's a story from the Capitol. Let's send it back to you. And Dennis, I know Mark Rossi, he has been a big proponent of this. He's, this has been his big issue that he's been talking about for a long time now, you said you said the two sides, the House and the Senate, basically had a stalemate. So what can happen or nothing? Well, nothing is always an option and never underestimate nothing when you're talking about folks in the state capitol. But I, there is hope that Josh Shapiro, remember that budget is due June 30th, just a couple of weeks away. There is some hope, and Josh Shapiro is a supporter of this, by the way, that, uh, that he will be able to engineer something in the budget negotiations that may be able to uh, break the log jam here and push this forward. Because again, lawmakers, when they vote on the topic, all agree with it. So that's what's so frustrating to these folks. All the lawmakers say they agree with it, but it just doesn't seem to pass usually on procedural or technical grounds. Politics, as always, getting there in the way it seems. All right, Dennis Owens, <laughs> live at the state capitol. Thank you very much for that.